Hey everyone, I'm Nicholas and welcome back to Production About 101. This episode, we're talking about vMix Call, which is vMix's remote contribution solution. So vMix Call is really nice because I can show you here in vMix uh, that it's really easy. You just add an input and you go to video call. Now, as you can see here, we have host to call and we have connect to call. Host to call is what you'll normally use. You'll either generate a link that you can send to guest or you have a password then you can send them the link to vmxcall.com they can put it in that way the link just takes them right to it with the password it's really nice um, and then you also can adjust your video that you're sending to guests so you can choose one of your four outputs uh, i'll generally do output one because that's just the master output the program output that we'll send to them then also with audio source you can do uh, master headphones or any of your available buses the buses are really nice if you have to uh, isolate audio. So what we'll do is we'll actually have multiple machines that handle vMix calls. We'll then pull them down in uh, to vMix call. We'll send their audio to our switchers or our console, such as the uh, SQ6 or an X32. And then in there, we can actually control their mic levels and we can generate their mix minuses in there to return back to them. Now, we, if you're doing external device, you have to generate the mix minuses there. But say if you're not, say you're just using a production bot and vMix for talent, you can actually just put all of the audio into one bus or into straight into master and then return that to them. And vMix will actually generate the mix minus for you. So then talent won't hear themselves. It's actually really nice and really simple to do. So they don't have to worry about hearing themselves. Just any other talent that you have or any like playback that you have or music. So it's really nice and it's definitely for like a quick show or a quick turnaround, it works really well. So here I'm just going to uh, click OK. You know, I have this password and now I'm actually going to come to my comp other computer over here and we're going to connect to this call. All right, so we're here at the VMix call screen. As you can see, I have my name, my password. So I can just put in my name. Then I can put in the password that was generated. So it's 4425252246 and I'll join the call. So you can see here, I, uh, I see myself in the top left, that's actually my camera feed. And then this right here, the big screen is actually the return feed. Uh, it's just on here because of program, so that's really nice. I can also, with this toolbar, I can stop the, uh, stop connect. I can disable my camera. I can mute myself. I can stop the preview screen. It's all really nice. So I have lot, some tools here. Now, if I were doing actually advanced uh, vmixcall.com, this would actually give me control of my camera, my microphone. I could change what those were, and I could also do uh, like echo cancellation and things like that. Uh, because I'm just doing normal vmix call, it's taking actually what my web browser's defaults are instead of uh, instead of whatever I want them to be. So that's kind of the thing with that. All right. So now that I'm actually back in vmix here, uh, let's say you know we're all good. I have my video going, but let's say I need to change the audio. Well, all I have to do is I can right click on here and that gives me some control so I can disconnect them. I can actually open up the call manager, see their settings, make sure everything's looking good. You know, we're green, call, uh, numbers are looking good, nothing looks bad. And I can also change the audio and video source. So if I come here, I'll see, I'll go to my output two. Now, if I come back here, we'll see that it's now a multi-view. This is how I have it set up. But let's say we're gonna return it. So now we're gonna change the video source back to output one. And now you see it's like here. Back in vMix, I can even change more than just the video output setting. I can go to the audio source and I can choose this. So I can change it to master, which is what I normally do, or I can actually change it to an audio bus. If I'm doing this with a bunch of external hardware and stuff, I would have a different audio bus. So that way I can just set it directly to it and then I don't have to worry about it. And we can change that. I can also adjust the bit rate that I'm sending them. All those are here. And I can also change the bit rate that they're sending me by going to advanced settings, remote guest bandwidth. And I can see here it's set to auto currently, which for this is really good. I don't want to worry about, uh, you know, going 4K and then showing that their computer won't support the 4000 bit rate. So right here, auto is just fine. And we're all good with that. So now we have vMix Call, and then also there is vMix Call Connect, which is what I talked about a little bit earlier. So if I show you in vMix here, if I come to adding an input, I'll go to video call. And then if I go to connect to a call, 
So let's say that another computer generated the call. They made the password and stuff. Now what I could do in this machine is I could put the name, put the password in, and that'll actually connect me directly to that vMix. It's actually really high quality, looks amazing. And you can choose what you want to send it back. So if you have to send uh, cameras to each other, you can do it that way. Uh, again, you can adjust what your video bandwidth is. So if you're connected to another studio, you could both be on high bit rate and it'll look really nice sending you to each other. We've done this for a few shows where quality really matters and it's honestly looked amazing in another, like another studio. We've done virtual production remotely where we've had two people and one we would just, uh, we'd have a green screen and we could actually composite it out and, it and put them on top of each other. And it looked really good um, with Venix Call Connect. So that's the exact same thing. You have your password, your name, da 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 da. You would add it and you go through all the steps then you're uh, connected directly to it and the control's the exact same. You know, you'd have all of these options for that as well. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you learned a bit about what vMix Call is and how powerful it really can be for your productions. Whether it's just someone from their laptop at home with a webcam or if you're connecting to another studio with professional, with professional setup and a vMix Call Connect. However you want to use it, it works really well. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.